ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਆਨਰ ਫੋਰ ਮੀ ਟੂ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਅਮੰਗ ਯੂ ਟੂਡੇ ਵਿਥ ਥੋਸ ਆਈ ਮੋਸਟ ਐਡਮਾਇਰ 뮤ਜ਼ੀਸ਼ੀਅਨਸ ਪੋਇਟਸ ਸਕਾਲਰਸ ਸੋਲਜਰਸ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪੈਨਗਨ ਚੈਪਲਨ ਫੋਰ ਗੈਦਰਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਟੂਡੇ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਵਿਸਾਖੀ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਚਾਰਜਡ ਵਿਥ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਟਿੰਗ ਵਿਥ ਯੂ ਔਨ the sikh tradition of service of seva and what it means for us here and now what it means for us in this moment for in this moment we know that there are children lying under the rubble of the earthquake in nepal without chance of rescue in this moment we know that there are families in mourning as the smoke clears after another ISIS car bombing in Iraq. In this moment, just some miles away, we know that a city is burning in the wake of another killing of a young unarmed black man in what the president has called from Ferguson to Staten Island to Baltimore a slow rolling crisis. it becomes tempting to turn our face away from the crises of our day but the sick faith calls us to face those fires and respond yes service is at the core of the sick religion but it is not the kind of service we think we know seva is not safe seva is not easy The call of Seva requires us to walk into the hot winds of the world with a saint's eyes and a warrior's heart and from a deep well of love pour our body pour our breath pour our blood into others. I am here to say to you what I believe in my bones that Seva is the call of our times. Let me show you why. Five centuries ago in South Asia, Guru Nanak, our first teacher, was born into a similar time of crisis. One day, the story goes, he disappeared by the river for three days. People thought him a dead man. People thought him a drowned man. But he emerged with a profound utterance of unity. Ik on God. God is one. We are one. Guru Nanak began singing a song of oneness. And through that music, that poetry, that meditation, we are called to experience the oneness he spoke of when we pray like that home the i the voice within us that names ourselves as separate from others begins to get quiet and something marvelous happens we fall in love i see no stranger i see no enemy guru nanak said when we are in love we begin to see with new eyes we begin to look upon the faces of our people who do not look like us and say brother sister i cannot live if you are dying i cannot stand by if you are suffering when we serve like that when we serve the child the neighbor the family the country the community we do so not out of obligation but out of love and in return we are saved by that love only through seva do we obtain god guru nanak says only through seva so we as six we pray in order to remember god simran but we serve in order to realize god seva that is why our sikh gurdwaras have a prayer hall next to a langar hall after we pray we roll up our sleeves we cook we prepare we serve food because we are practicing seva but remember seva is not safe guru nanak says if you want to play the game of love with me then step on my path with your head on your palm if our first teacher guru nanak called us to play this game of love then our 10th teacher guru gobind showed us how in 1699 Guru Gobind Singh called all six to a clearing in Anandpur Sahib in India. It was another time of crisis. 
the Sikh community was facing an onslaught against Mo of Mughal rulers. Our numbers were dwindling and the future looked dark, but there the Guru stood, tall in a turban, sword in his hand, often seen with a falcon on his shoulder. He rose before the thousands with fire in his eyes, they say, and he called out this, who among you is willing to offer up your head for the love of God and one another? Who among you? There was silence in the crowd. The wind rustled and the people did not move until courage stirred in the heart of one, Daya. And he stepped forward and he followed the Guru into a tent. After a few moments, the Guru emerged, his sword dripping with blood and said, who else, who else is ready and willing to offer up your head for the love of God and one another? No one spoke a word. The wind rustled, the people did not move until courage stirred within the heart of yet another, Dharam. And he stood up and followed the Guru into the tent. Once more the Guru appeared, sword dripping with blood. Once more the call went out, and of one volunteered and yet another, and until finally five had offered their lives. When the Guru appeared before them once more, he pulled back the tent for all to see, and there they stood. They were alive and well, but they had been changed. These are my Panj Piyare, he said. These are my beloved ones. They are the ones who are willing to sacrifice their lives, their blood for the sake of love. The death of their egos, Home, birthed them anew. And in that moment, we as a community, we were birthed anew. We too, we shed our old separate names. We took on new names, Sing and Kor, Lion and Lioness, to signal our equality, our courage. And we were given five articles of faith, including long, uncut hair, which men and some women wrap in a turban to show that we will never again hide from the call to service. That was Vesakhi Day. That is why we are here today, to celebrate the birth of the Khalsa, our spiritual sister and brotherhood. And now I have a confession. As a little girl, that story made me tremble. After all, isn't, isn't it madness to offer up your life like that? Today, I see the story with new eyes. A few months ago, I gave birth to a baby boy, and holding him in my arms, I realized that I would give my life for him. And I looked at my mother, and for the first time, I saw all the ways that she had poured her body, her breath, her blood into me. What greater bravery than that? What deeper love? And so if Vasaki calls us to a life of selfless service, then perhaps the most ancient and potent model for the kind of love that requires is motherhood. So today on Vasaki Day, as we celebrate, let us also honor all of those who teach us the true meaning of seva. Let us honor the mothers and fathers who have devoted themselves to their children and their children. Let us honor our elders. I honor my grandfather, Captain Gurdial Singh, who served in the military like seven generations had before him. When he was called to the front lines in World War II to face Hitler's armies, the British commander in charge told him to remove his turban, but he refused. My turban is my faith, and I cannot serve without faith, he said. He went to war, and when the German aircraft swooped down and shot his best friend lying beside him, he wrapped his friend's body with his turban. He bound up his wounds, and he brought him home. He was that faithful. He was that fearless. Let us honor today the faithfulness and the fearlessness of all of our soldiers, including those in this room. Proud Sikh Americans who serve their country, Captain Ruffin, Colonel Lamda, Colonel Sodi, Staff Sergeant Bree Corps, 
Petty Officer Gina Corps, Senior Airman Jasreen Corps, Private Sukrit Corps, Lieutenant Jasprit Corps, and Major Kamal Singh Parsi, a decorated hero who, when treating the wounded in Afghanistan, was moved to tears when a soldier turned to him and said, bleeding, said, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Let us honor the brothers and sisters who fight for justice, all of them, all of you. When Supreet Corps steers the Sikh coalition to become the voice of a community, when Rajdeep Singh fights for our civil rights in the halls of power, when Gurjot Kaur files a lawsuit to change a policy, when Ava Master uses online tools on an open internet to tell our community stories, when Ravi Bala responds to those in need as a city councilman, when Amandeep Singh Sidhu speaks truth to power in court, when Simranjit Singh picks up his mighty pen like a mighty sword, when Inniji expresses her powerful voice, makes us all sing, and when Earlier this week, my brother, my friend, Deep Tej Singh, when he stood with renowned LGBT advocate Sharon Groves, they're sitting right next to each other, steps away from the Supreme Court to pray for the equality of all people, of all people, they were showing us what Seva looks like in America today. Seva is standing up for all people. That is why Mayor Steve Scafidi is here today. He has stood up for us, for our community, boldly and bravely. <laughs> and tirelessly. Ever since a white supremacist walked into a Sikh Gurdwara in his city and opened fire, laying six people to rest. The death toll could have been higher that day. The death toll should have been higher that day, but one of your city's police officers took 17 bullets defending us, defending our community. Lieutenant Brian Murphy is a proud Marine. He knows that service means standing up, even offering your life for those who do not look like you. <laughs> Sick values are American values. The call to save a captures the best of America, and that brings us back to where we began. Seva is the call of our times. Seva calls us to look at people who don't look like us and say brother and sister, whether they are black or Latino, LGBT or Sikh or Muslim, we look at them, we love them, we take up their struggles as our own, we stand up for them, we fight for them because all lives matter. All lives matter. When I look at my son and think of all that I hope for him, my throat catches. I know that if he chooses to live a life of service, if he chooses to serve like that, to love like that, he will not be safe. But I also know that it is the only way to truly live. And so I take courage. Courage is fear that says its prayers, says my friend, Bishop Gene Robertson. And so I hold my son close, and I whisper in his ear the prayer my grandfather taught me, the same prayer that Captain Rutten's father wrote down on that piece of paper for him. Tati vana lagi, tati vana lagi. The hot winds cannot touch you. The hot winds cannot touch you, not when you pursue a life of true service. Even when you are beaten down, even under a rain of fire, even when you are bleeding, whether in the birthing room or on the battlefield, the hot winds cannot touch you because you are with the holy and of the holy. You are with God and of God. You are 
with love and of love, and that kind of love changes the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.